Kumba Min Market. I'm sorry, I'm not going to give you guys a tour of the market because, well, I don't know my way around and what I'm going for is something. <laughs> so, okay. Hello, beautiful people. You're welcome back to Reese World. If this is your first time stopping by, you're highly welcome. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for clicking on this video. Please don't go without subscribing to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below of what you think of this video or of any suggestion you want to give me so I can improve on this channel for your own entertainment. And yes, after subscribing, don't forget to turn on your post notification so each time I upload a new video, you'll be notified to watch. So today's video, we are touring the city or the town of Kumba. Guys, I don't know if Kumba is qualified to be called a city or a town. But please, my Kumba people, permit me call it a town as of now. But if you think it's a city, leave it in the comment section and let's know. Let's all know if Kumba is a city or not. But as of now, I think it's a town. And for my little research... That I've done online, I just know that Kumba is a town. So please, if I'm offending you by calling Kumba a town, forgive me and permit me use it for now. Kumba is the largest town in Meme Division and Southwest region of Cameroon. It is situated on flatlands around Boya Road areas and with hills around Fiango and Bonge Road. So presently, I'm entering into the park, or should I say the market? I think there's a kind of market going on here where you park your thing. In fact, it's a market, but this is where they park vehicles and then you go in and buy something like that. I'm not an indigenous of this Kumba town, so I really don't know much about it. But from what I gathered from the people that I met here, they let me know that this is the market, but that is the park. So yeah, that was it. And... Here we are actually at, I think it's Kumba town from what they told me, like the main city, the main town part of Kumba. They call it Green City or something like that. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, this is it. So Kumba town has three main water bodies. That is Lake Barombi, which is the largest volcanic lake in Cameroon and also a good tourist attraction. The next is Kumba water, as we locally call it, which passes through Boya Road at the Kumbambeng Bridge and the Banga water running through the town. Most roads to the nearby villages start at Kumba, running to Nigeria border at Manfe. We also have the Kurup National Park at Mundemba and Mount Kupe to the east of Kumba. Kumba is a trade center for cocoa, palm oil, rubber, and has a timber industry as well. I remember my days in secondary school when our classmates used to come from Kumba. They have, there's a season that they come with so much money because of the sales they make from selling their cocoa and yeah. So we always call them cocoa money. And you see these guys, when they come with this money now, they spend it carelessly. I don't know if carelessly is the word I should use. Yeah, but they spend the money. They spend, you know, when they say there's money, yeah, they spend it, they spend it. And then at some point, they start sending them away for school fees. <laughs> Even in the university, because I went to Polytech in Bamenda, so most of my classmates were from Kumba and... Um, Yes, Kumba, Minyenge, Moyoka, all those people that farm cocoa. But they bring so much money, they spend it on luxury, buy whatever they want to buy, spend it carelessly, do whatever it is they are doing with the money. At the end of the day, when it's time to chase them out for school fees, they are the first to leave the class. They feel so miserable. It's like they, they, they are just so bent on enjoyment. I don't know, my Kumba people watching my videos, don't be offended. I'm just talking out of experience. So if you have anything to say about this, just let me know in the comment section. But from my experience, this is what I noticed about them. They like spending on luxury more than on necessity. From what those students were portraying. Like, I don't think that it's okay or it's normal for a child to come to school with hundreds of thousands and you are not able to pay your school fee that is just 250,000 but you will bring like 500,000 
to school, you will spend it on your luxuries, even if it's your private money. Because I know that there are some students who are bent. They are like, no, it's my parents that are supposed to pay my school fee. So if I have my money, I am not paying it. But at least you should pay your fee so they will not send you out. And then maybe when your parents come, they might help you pay the fee. When And then when they pay it, you can replace it. If you don't want to tell them that you paid, you can pay and then they replace it. That will make more sense. So yeah, that's one thing I noticed with them. And in school, they were not the smartest. Sorry to say this. Yeah, but they were not the smartest. But they were nice people. They were generous people. Eh? If you want to hear the people that spend more in school, there are people from Kumba, Muyenge, Muyoka, Ekona, all those people that farm Koku. They are just spend money. If you're just like, oh, I don't, I'm feeling hungry. They take you for lunch. They provide. They are, they are nice, but they don't have time to settle down and study. They don't have time to settle down and do some things and need patience. They're just so much into, you know, <laughs> yeah. The town is a local road junction, making it the main commercial town in Anglophone Cameroon. So yeah, Kumba is the main commercial town in Anglophone Cameroon, not in the whole of Cameroon. Because as we all know, Douala is the economic capital of Cameroon. Or if you don't know, know it from today, Douala is the economic capital of Cameroon. That is where all the economic big, big transactions in Cameroon happen. So don't say that Kumba is the economic capital because I say it's the main, it's just the main in Anglophone Cameroon. Anglophone Cameroon is made up of two regions. That's the Northwest region and the Southwest region of Cameroon. So yeah, that's it. Kumba has two main markets. That is Kumba Market and Fiango Market with several smaller markets created by farmers which bring food directly from the farms. So you don't come and tell me that Kumba has many markets. Yes, I know Kumba has many markets, but the two main markets in Kumba are Fiango Market and Kumba Market. But we have other smaller markets like Bonge Road Market, Three Corners Market, and the Back Market, as we locally call it. Due to the high level of activities in the town, it has attracted the Nigerian traders, particularly the Igbo and Yoruba who own more than 60% of shops in the town. That's in accordance to a 2011 survey. Trading in Kumba town is controlled by Kumba City Council, and it provides the majority of money or revenue for the council. Most of the people in Kumba are farmers, and therefore Kumba has become a major trade center to its neighboring towns and cities, and also to some neighboring countries, including Nigeria, Guinea Equatorial, Gabon, Chad, and Congo. So if you want to buy basic things or food stuff, stuff like this, you need to come to Kumba because the farm a lot there and they have so many, many kitchen supplies there for you at affordable prices. I will not want to use the word cheap prices because cheap to one person might be expensive to another person. So the word I choose to use is affordable prices. That is Kumba for us. <laughs> so this is me feeling so hungry after a long day. Sorry, I couldn't play what is what I'm trying to say in this video because there was serious music and you guys know YouTube with copyright claims. So yeah, I don't want that. Yeah, so I was trying to buy something that I can eat and yeah, and try to know how they say Kumba is cheap. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> so let's find out. Anyway, it, it's cheap, okay? Kumba is cheaper. Let me not say cheap, it's affordable. Kumba is affordable and yeah, I had a good time in Kumba and yep, I'm on my way back to Duwala and that's it. And I was actually singing to a song that I'm not going to let it play here because of copyright issues. So thank you for watching. If you've been watching from the beginning up to now, thank you so, so much. Please don't go without subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of what you think of this video and any suggestion that you have for me. Please leave it in the comment section and I will get back to you. And guys, after subscribing, make sure that you turn on your post notification. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.